Quarter Ninja presents Hello, hello, hello and welcome to another episode of The One and what is The One? The One is uh, our feature where we are going to junkyard and we are going to barns and we are going to auction and we are trying to find the one and what is the one i have no idea but that should be the car that really excites me and you know some other car will excite you and you will leave me in your in the comments below your opinion you know and your view on the cards we on the cars we we've seen here but I will let you know once when I find the one, the car that's really exciting and I, that I was really looking forward to. So at the moment we are going to do five runs uh, on Junkyard, as you can see, not a single car, uh, and five, five runs on in barns and one or two runs in auction. Uh, can you believe this? There is not a single spawned car. I'm looking, no zero at the moment complete and utter zero and this is how the game treats you amazing uh, uh, it never happened to me honestly okay so i don't want um, probably let me see olden torana i never seen this one this looks like something uh, relatively modern uh, it's not the one, but it's interesting car. I've never seen it, uh, so I will just take it and we will restore it. Absolutely. I like cars that I don't know and uh, I need to like uh, check what they are and stuff like that. Okay, that is Chevelle. We don't need it. Let's go back to garage. So first run, nothing. And if you remember, if you watched my previous episode of the one, we actually didn't find anything also. We did uh, find some nice cars, some cars that I liked. So maybe, you know, the best car that I remember from that run was the Merc, like Mercedes uh, G65, the, the Jeep one. The car which I really love, especially in, in AMG version, and I had the opportunity to uh, like uh, be uh, drive one and and be driven in one so yeah it's nice car but not the one and i'm recording this episode e immediately after we did a restoration of our uh, beautiful porsches 356 uh, uh, our first uh, side by side feature I'm trying, you know, to stop as much things as I can and record as much as I can to have a, a material for future. And let's see, this is our uh, second junkyard run. And for some reason it's loading way too long, but it's okay. And again, nothing here. It's very strange. Sometimes it will spawn you like 10 cars and sometimes it will spawn you nothing. This is, guys, Plymouth Fury, beautiful, amazing, but not something that I want to buy at the moment. And as I said, uh, let me know in the comments below, maybe some of these cars are the cars that you really want and like and things like that. This is MC Javelin uh, MX, uh, beautiful car. I have one in garage, so that's okay. What is this? This is Acura NSX 2017 wide body. Are we going to buy this? Absolutely. Why? Because we want to restore that one. We like that one. It's not the one, it's not the most exciting car. Um, this I don't want to buy. This is a Mustang. I think I have one already in garage. You know, Mustang is a nice car and beautiful and everything, but nah, not the one. This is R8. Yes, I have in garage something already parked and ready for restoration. So no, no, not exciting. And you will find it strange for me R8 is not really exciting car, it's just, yeah. Hers, no. R8 is nice car, but still, yeah, nothing really too much exciting about it. So, uh, that was our second run, and uh, the junkyard, as you've seen, was uh, pretty much empty. A uh, very crappy choice, if I can say, of cars. And who knows, maybe, you know, our third uh, run will be a charm and we are going to get lucky. 
and get something that actually is uh, good enough that I get excited. And uh, why I don't get excited easily? Because I worked for some time, you know, in a repair shop and uh, as a manager and stuff. And uh, I had opportunity to see cars, drive cars, try cars and everything. And I'm not talking about, you know, your usual Toyota or something, but actually about Bentleys, Ferraris and things like that. And yeah. I don't know. I, I had even opportunity to try American Hot Rod, you know, the one based on Ford uh, 32, I think, or something like that. And it was interesting experience. That power is, yeah, that was actually scary. I think that was really, really scary experience. How that car accelerates, it's out of this world. Although, the Bentley W12 or, or uh, Biturbo, Maserati, uh, yeah, they can do pretty much the same. Okay, this is car that is exciting, so we got it, finally, I got it. Uh, nice, this is Alfa Romeo Zagato, maybe you remember it, maybe you don't. And actually, this is the car that is, um, in a strange way, not so beautiful, but it's exciting. Every single Alpha is exciting for me. Alphas are amazing. I draw Alpha and Alphas, they are really something special. So that was good find. I'm happy. This I uh, restored. We restored one like uh, quite, um, quite uh, a few episodes ago. So it's not. This is a Golf 3, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I do believe I have one in the garage. So no, but I have to say this is Escort. And again, I have few Escorts. This is for me exciting car, don't take it wrong. I love this old Escort, they're beautiful. But still, I have few in garage now and... Uh, what is this? Okay guys, take a guess. This is 19, uh, 914 or 914 and Actually, this is a little bit overkill with W12 Twin Turbo, but this is exciting car. And this is second exciting car I got today. So I have to say, this run was uh, amazing. I am super happy. And we spoke about this. Look, 65 carbon. Uh, oh no, I, I cannot do that. Although, listen, I have one. And let's buy another one. Maybe I'm going to do side by side with uh, these. Uh, I'm not sure. I can always, you know, sell just things that I don't need. But it might be interesting to do side by side with uh, G65s. They're kind of... Yeah, this is a Beetle. I think I have one. Uh, nothing too much exciting, of course. Uh, what is this? This is uh, probably Australian something. No, it is Chevy. Doesn't look like a Chevy, to be very honest. I didn't recognize it from the front, so it's my bad. I was thinking about some Australian truck here that we have as a mod. Listen, I never uh, seen this one. I never had it. I now, based on the picture of the mod, I, I, I know which car this is. But I want to buy it. I want to restore it. Uh, we restored already Ford F100. Uh, which is another beautiful truck uh, and we will see how this one works this is from I don't know 60s, 70s, 70s, 80s something like that looks like that so that was our third run to the junkyard and I'm thinking should we uh, simply skip uh, further runs to junkyard because we found two cars that actually excited me and we can call them the one I would say so but again, you expected five runs and you're here for five runs, so let's do two more runs. Let's keep it, you know, to the schedule and how we usually do that. And who knows, maybe we get lucky even more and find some amazing car that we didn't expect to find. You never know. Everything is possible. In any case, uh, we are doing very well and I'm looking forward to uh, restore that uh, Zagato, especially Alpha. 
we did restore one out already and it's the beautiful one and I hope you've seen the video. If you didn't, just go to my channel and check for Alpha and you will have opportunity to see it. And I'm now, you know, trying to make balance between modern cars, older cars, uh, sporty cars, non-sporty cars, tracks, pickups, whatever. It's not easy. There's so many cars that really deserve to be restored. And, you know, as always, I'm calling you to write comments and, and tell me, you know, what car would you like to see restored? And if that car is in the game and if I have it in garage, I will do my best to restore it. Why not? There is no issue there. Uh, this is uh, something, I don't know, Edge SV, Malu GTS, probably something from Australia, I, I would say so, because we have uh, a few mo models, or at least one, which is Australia. And here are some very nice and unusual cars. This is Corvette, which I have uh, nothing special. Let me see, just. 370s, a beautiful, nice little sporty machine, not uh, my cup of tea at the moment, so no. Uh, okay, this is something, you know, that uh, we have to buy. We don't care, uh, we are just going to buy it, so it's McLaren Speed Tail. I have no idea really what it is, uh, I didn't follow this market, so I have to check what car, if that even exists, or if it's just prototype, or... or what but it will be restored it's nice uh, so nothing Mustang no as you can imagine Mustangs are everywhere there are tons of them they're beautiful cars uh, I love them dearly but they're kind of boring uh, because there's so many of them and in so many variants and versions so I didn't restore a single one yet uh, but we will get to it I have quite a few in garage or parking, I don't know why we are calling it parking, I would like to call, call it garage, because it makes more sense. But in parking, and they're waiting uh, their turn. And let's do uh, last run. Let's see what we are going to get. Uh, what I would like to get, I don't know, to be honest, I cannot remember. I'm just trying to figure out, um, do I know some of uh, cars that I would love to see? Oh my goodness, I don't know. So many mods, so many cars. Uh, yeah, there's one Lamborghini, Lamborghini, whatever is the pronunciation. I think Lamborghini is good enough, which would make me happy to have it. But you know, you will see if we get it, I will scream like a little girl, maybe, maybe not. I'll make decision later, but yeah. That I know would be exciting to get. Um, also, I'm not sure about uh, other cars. I need to think about that. We will see. Actually, this was uh, quite a crappy run on the junkyard. But yeah, it's another Mustang. You see, when they uh, when the game spawns Mustangs, it spawns them in uh, numbers that are crazy. Uh, do we have? Um, Challenger. Not that we have, we restored one in our, I think, first episode. And you see, this is nice car, the Bolt Roulette. Uh, it's not Bolt, of course, but it is nice car. But still, I don't like to restore cars that don't have proper name. And this is, you know, game car, and it's uh, perfect and everything, but still. Okay, so what do you think about this? GT. I don't know, I think I have GT already, and um, it is a beautiful car, don't take me wrong, but I don't think that is exciting enough for me to be, you know, to buy it even, so we will leave it now. Okay, not a great run, but uh, the first time when we did this uh, series, we didn't find a single exciting, really exciting car, and this time we found two. So in reality, this was a much, uh, much, much more successful session. And now we are going to visit five barns immediately. And uh, uh, let's see how these barns will treat us. And bars are interesting because, you know, in Junkyard, you have uh, most of the cars there. Uh, most of the modders will put their car in the barn. But some cars, and there is quite a few of them actually, uh, can be found, uh, uh, I'm not sure did I make mistake before when I was talking, but I will just repeat. Most of the cars you can find on the junkyards 
uh, or in the junkyard, but many cars can be found only in barn or auction. And that is the reason why I like to visit barns also and when, uh, why I want to go to auction. If you watch the episode with our Red Bull X 2010, that was actually, you know, uh, the car you cannot get anywhere else except in the auction. This is some Carrera RS Tucker. I'm not sure what that is and what actually will bring to us. So I'm not even sure should I buy it or not. What I'm looking at the moment for, and you should do the same whenever you're in the barn. Uh, I know it's like uh, maybe a little bit boring, but it's a minute, honestly. Uh, you should check all the junk to find, to find one thing only. And if that is here, I'm going to cry out. Case. I will tell you why. You see, this is exactly the same car we found on Junkyard a few minutes ago. And this is exactly the same ca car we restored a little bit ago. So that's nothing. We will just buy this case. Why I'm taking cases? Because when you open the case, you are getting some loot. Let's call it loot. And these are the parts that have uh, positive values, let's say. Plus one, plus two, plus five, whatever and they will bring performance of your, your cars up and actually you can get uh, parts that you cannot buy that are better than their counterpart uh, normal so whenever i go to the barn i will always check uh, these uh, junk piles and i will always look for uh, the case because one episode, I'm planning it uh, already uh, in advance, one episode is going to be uh, opening the cases, you know? And then we are going to sit and open, I'm not sure how many cases, uh, I think probably 20 I need at least for episode to make sense. And then we are going to see the parts, what we get, and then we are maybe talk a little bit about that, how that influx uh, Im impacts uh, or what influx it has on the car as such or what uh, impact will have on the car if you put these parts in but that is something that we are going to do later um, this again this is 1990 Camaro I don't want to buy it it's not something that I really it's not my cup of tea what people would say and this is again Ferrari 166 mm Barchetta or Barchetta uh, I have one in garage, uh, let's go out, goodbye, nothing here to see. We just took our box or case and we have three more trips, so I think we are going to do that really, really fast. And as I said, uh, when we open these cases, we are going to really see, you know, what we get and how good these parts are and what kind of impact uh, they have on the car build. And that's kind of, I think, always when you play, especially career mode, and when you get uh, in career mode, it's a little bit different. Uh, how that is going on in career mode, uh, when you play a normal game, what will happen, you will uh, get these maps from the jobs you're doing, you know, repair jobs, and happy customer will give you a lead. And also from what I've seen, you can get these maps from the junkyard, if you visit junkyard and if you are, uh, you know, <laughs> if you spend enough time, let's say, if you go and check every single piece of junk on the junkyard, and that takes time, a lot of time, you will get a barn map. I think almost always or always, but this is very time consuming and it's not really a pleasant thing to do. So in career mode, usually you are really craving for these maps and you're really saving them and trying to find them, you know, and things like that. So we will see what is this. First, we are going to check um, for our case. So let's spend a minute. Case is here. Okay, first let's check. This is, I think we have one of these. McLaren Senna. Oh, okay, I will buy it. Uh, I will buy it just to be sure if I have one, I will sell this one. We don't need more than one. It's modern and uh, yeah, we can always find it. So here we have, is that Camino? Yeah, that is El Camino. 
I'm not sure do I have one now, Camino. I will buy it. Uh, I will buy it just to check, you know, El Camino is nice truck uh, and we should have one. Okay, this is something that I want to buy, actually. This is F-150 and I like this one. I like the car. Uh, I cannot say it's really exciting, but the F-150 is a great truck. And I really, really like it. And I really believe uh, we should restore one. And barnyard, uh, well, barn, it's not yard, it's just a barn. Barns are giving us that opportunity. I, I, I think maybe uh, 150 you cannot get in junkyard. I didn't check, I, I need to, to check it. So I was talking too much and I have no clue how many barns we visited. I am inclined to believe we visited four. So let's do one more just to be on the safe side. If we visited five and do one more than usual, well, you know, it doesn't hurt really. Who cares? Not a big deal. So last barn for today. And we got some nice cars again for restoration. And I'm trying to restore uh, as much cars as I can, but this will take uh, time. You know, even if I restore three per week, which is crazy much, you know, because there is a lot of work to do and recording videos and stuff, it will take a year uh, to restore 100 of them, something like that. So yeah, we will see how that goes. We will see how that goes. I should stop buying car, honestly. I'm buying way too many cars and keeping them there. Okay, so let us see. What did I say? First, we are looking immediately where we have parts and then we are checking cars. I don't see anything exciting here. So, yeah, not a big deal. So here we have convertible Cadillac Series 62. Not at the moment, these are very often and Woody drag car. These are super often uh, and that's about it. Goodbye, by case, goodbye. Uh, basically, these two, um, you can often find them and it's not a big deal. I'm not sure about convertible, but uh, I don't want to buy it because, uh, yeah, I have way too many cars anyway. Uh, let's do one trip to auction and let's see what do we have there. And maybe we do two trips, depends on what do we have there, because auction trips are usually very fast, except if we find something that is really interesting, then we have to go through the auction process and, you know, bid for our car. And let's see. So on auctions, you can get anywhere between, I think, five and ten cars. And these cars are usually in the best condition. But still, you know, outside they are good, but inside they are pretty crappy and you have to repair everything. Regardless, you have to disassemble whole car. So I'm doing also restoration from auctions. You see, it has very nice bodywork, but already you can see on the wheels, uh, they are really uh, not good. So let's see. Nomad, not for now. Acura, not for now. Maybe let's, let's go next car. Let's go and I will show you cars. Why not? This is also a nice way to see the cars which, you know, you can buy actually at some point. This is a little bit of uh, a boring car, I would say. So we are moving forward. Yeah, let's go through all the cars. Why not? Uh, if something is really interesting, we, we can stop, uh, check it a little bit more. What I'm missing also here, I'm missing ability to, you know, rotate and stuff like that. I'm not sure why that is not done, but yeah. So this is probably nice car that um, I could restore, but at the moment, I'm not sure I have so many cars. I already see the car that I want. So this one is not the one I want at the moment. Uh, this is exciting car that is coming. Uh, let me just check if I'm correct. Yes. So this is Peugeot 205 Turbo. If you remember guys, we will start uh, auction. It's a little bit boring, but let's uh, bear with me. You see, the problem with this game is uh, the bidding system is horrible, honestly, because the value of the car is 54,000. So the computer will bid up to that price or even more. 
and I cannot raise more than 500. That is uh, amazingly uh, short-sighted, uh, you know, in a way of uh, giving your customers tools. We should be able to set our bid, you know, if I want to raise for 2000, 3000, uh, whatever, it's my choice. I shouldn't be limited to this 500 and then click like a lunatic just to get the car. But okay, this is exciting car. If you don't know much about this car, you should read about it and I will restore it and talk about it. It is one of the defining car of uh, that era and you will see why I will not talk about it now, but I'm quite happy that we got it. And uh, yes, you see, now computer is bidding like a lunatic and I have to wait. Okay, we finally got it. Uh, nice. So this was the car I wanted. Without any doubt. Uh, let's see. Uh, there is a Ferrari. It's beautiful. Uh, and at the moment I'm not sure do I have one or not. And I don't want to bother you with auction. Let's see. This, this, this. Nothing, nothing. I'm not sure what is Kia Stinger should be. Hmm. This is the car. Okay, let's see how much we can uh, we should bid here. You see, million two hundred. This takes time. Okay, I can always edit video. Actually, that is not a big deal. And I will just you know put beginning of auction and end of auction like a magic. We will see. I want to buy it because I'm not sure do I have one in garage. And that is also the, the issue. There is no inventory system, not a single way to see your cars except uh, painful going to garage, to your parking and checking level, level by level, which I find also as a big oversight. So there is quite a few things that I believe should be much, much better in this game. But again, as I'm saying, I uh, love this game. It is beautiful. It is great. But I will always say what I'm thinking about shortcomings of the game and I would expect the developers listen and you actually try to uh, sort it and maybe in future uh, game or new version or something like that. Why not? And as I said, I spent a long, long time working in gaming industry and I know a thing or two about these things. It's not uh, that I'm talking without any background knowledge. So, we want to buy this Ferrari. As I said, maybe I have one in garage, uh, maybe I have not, uh, I don't have it, I don't know. We will buy this one, check it, and actually if we have two, we will sell one. We don't need multiple uh, examples. Uh, now we will go through cars, this is not exciting. Um, I want to see what is that Kia. Uh, Nürburgring uh, Stinger, I cannot remember what I cannot remember. I have it somewhere in my mind. I uh, I, I kind of know, but I'm not sure. So I have to see it. Let's go there. And after all, this is not the stream, so everything can be uh, everything can be you know um, cut and the video can be shortened if necessary. So I'm not really worried about that. But I will keep talking and uh, why not, you know, it's always interesting to hear a few informations here and there and, uh, you know, we are communicating so it's nice. Uh, this Firebird is beautiful and at some point in time we are going to buy it, if I don't have one, because I want to restore it, definitely, and that is like Smokey and Bandit one. Uh, and let's see what is that Kia. Mm. Okay, this is super modern Kia. And this is, you know, now you ask yourself, do you buy this? Why? What do you, you know, there is no need for restoration, real restoration, because it's just engine probably broken and stuff. So, no. okay, we are not going to buy it. Maybe some other time, maybe we will find some other car. And I don't think we need uh, to check more cars than this. 
Okay, so one trip to auction was uh, nice, this first one, and I will do a second one just to be on the safe side to check maybe we get something amazing, some uh, a gem, something that you know is really super super exciting and amazing. And I can tell you this uh, Peugeot 206 uh, was really exciting because that was the car I have a fond memories of that car, and yeah. I think that it's going to be a nice build and uh, I'm going to quite enjoy that. So another auction and that is the last one, we are not going to do more. And I just want to be uh, sure that we don't miss something great and let's check it fast. Is there anything that is going to really interest us or not? Also, please let me know in the comments below, again, and I will ask you that uh, all the time, you know, what cars that we've seen would you like to buy, or what would you buy and I didn't buy, etc, etc. You see all this, nothing interesting, and that's about it. That's about it. So, uh, I would call this successful run. Uh, uh, if you're looking at the one, I can say that we found probably three cars, uh, the Alfa Romeo Zagato, the, uh, my goodness, the Porsche uh, 914 and uh, the last one was this Peugeot 206. Uh, so I think that was actually a successful run and I was quite happy with that. And that's it. Um, just check the cars we did in our last restoration they're beautiful that was side by side feature check it you know uh, and see how do you like it in meantime you know uh, subscribe to this channel if you like it um, like the videos and please leave a comment you know tell me what you like what you don't like what you don't like what would you like to see or not etc etc restore something of your own find a car that you like and you know bring it to its glory and until then until the next episode i'll see you take care and bye bye please subscribe to this channel share and like this video thank you